tonight we officially kick off the holiday season, and if the cold weather means you want to escape town, I know the perfect place for you. St. Pete, Clearwater, Florida. So we are here waiting for the tree to be lit up for the season. What's going on here tonight? I'll tell you what, this is one of the best holiday celebrations, not only in New York, but in the entire country. The excitement, all the people gathered around. We're mixing the best of New York with the best of St. Pete Clearwater. Why should St. Pete Clearwater be our go-to destination this season? You've been there, right? Yes. And you've seen it, and you've seen the manatees, you've seen the dolphins, the Gulf of Mexico. There's just something about it, the whiteness of the sand. It is just an absolute chill place. You've got things like artsy draws, like the Salvador Dali Museum, a world-class collection of Dali's, the Clearwater Marine Aquarium, Dolphin Tale, the film. It's two hours by air. It takes longer to get to the Hamptons, trust me. There's so many things to do that even if you get sunburned or if you don't like the beach or if, heavens forbid, there's a cloudy day, there's something for everyone to do. So we're here drinking the St. Pete Clearwater Gulf Coast Breeze. Gulf Coast Breeze. And I hear the food scene down there is pretty good. Tell me a little bit more about it. You know, it's, it really starts with the beer scene. Uh, we have more craft breweries than any destination in Florida, including Dunedin, which is the oldest craft brewery in Florida. Outside of that, what we have is Grouper. Grouper is the official fish of St. Pete Clearwater. Any restaurant worth their weight is going to have Grouper, and I understand you had some. I had, had it more than once, and it okay. was incredible. Cheers, and let's go have some St. Pete Clearwater fun. To find great getaway deals now, head to MyBeachWeekend.com. Happy Holidays!